Hey YouTube Gardening World, in this week's video I'm going to give you five tools that every beginner gardener should have in their arsenal. So the first tool on my list is a moisture meter. So we're in California and obviously we're constantly in a drought and uh, so every bit of water counts. So I like to go in and uh, just use this moisture meter. I use it in my uh, veg bed, I use it in my garden bed, I use it in my containers. Uh, most of the time I use it to kind of check my lavender to see if they need water because typically they can go a couple of weeks without any direct water. Uh, and then head over to my hydrangeas who need water just every like two or three days. So it's a good way to know when to water and not to water. And that is probably maybe one of the number one reasons why you kill your plant, you overwater. So the so. second on my list is these little soil test kits. You know, they're like 15, 16 bucks, something like that. And I wish I had done this from the beginning because I actually killed four $100 bay laurel trees. Um, and, and in our area, you can plant those on the freeway and they'll survive. So. Um, I wish I had done this first and the reason I killed them is because the pH level was like off the charts I think it was like an eight or nine on here and they like it at like a five So I basically planted them in lava, you know um, But they probably would still be alive today had I tested this from the beginning and uh, there's nothing worse than planting $400 in trees and killing them within six months on top of that um, most of my garden bed was deficient in nitrogen. And so you start seeing in spring all your leaves coming up and then quickly turning yellow. And most of the time it's because you're deficient in nitrogen. And again, had I had known this or done this soil test in the beginning, I would have known. The next on the list is just having a centralized bin for all of your tools. I mean, it's so much easier to you know find everything. Uh, it eliminates all those back and forth from the shed. Um, it makes cleanup so much easier. So I've got a you know a couple of clippers in here. I've got my gloves. I've got a tape measure. I've got uh, some pliers. I've got my little shovels. I got extra little drippers. So it's just so much handier to have. It makes cleanup faster. Just have a centralized spot where you keep everything. Bucket and I use it all the time. I mean, it's almost always out, you know, whenever I'm clipping, pulling weeds, trimming something, deadheading, whatever. Um, I like to just, you know, leave it out. And once a week, I dump it in our green bin. And uh, best of all, whenever I'm ready to have company over or something like that, I can, you know, push it down, slide it under uh, the shed or behind a couch or behind a garbage can or something like that. And it's, you know, out of sight, out of mind list is a good old-fashioned broom and picker-upper. I don't know what the technical name of it is, but uh, the reason these are so great is I actually hide it behind our gate, so it's just nice, easy, simple to grab, and uh, we've got a camphor tree in our backyard. It drops leaves year-round, it drops seeds, it drops seed pod thingies, um, so I am constantly sweeping up. Uh, it's also handy to have so you're not going back and forth to the shed all the time. The easier it is to grab, the more likely you are to grab it and, you know, sweep up. Um, so I use this like at least two or three times a week and then after I'm done say pulling weeds or clipping things or spreading mulch or whatever It's just nice to have around uh, Kind of quickly sweep everything up and uh, you know move on to the next job Well, there you have it. Those are five gardening tools that every beginner gardener should have I should know I'm a beginner gardener myself I've been gardening for about eight months and I've absolutely fallen in love with it um, These are the five tools I use just about every day um, so at this point, I think it's a great list for any beginner gardener. Definitely pick these five tools up, have them in your arsenal. And uh, if you like the video, and this is my first video, like, subscribe, give it a follow, and we'll see where it goes from here. All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next one.